Welcome to Lexio Divina Reflections, Saturday of the tenth week in Ordinary Time. From the Responsorial Psalm, I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. Jesus continues instructing the disciples in the ways of God and not man. The teachings extend and transcend Old Testament laws. The law that refers to making a false oath then says, But make good to the Lord all that you vow. All that we would swear by, whether heaven or earth, is God's and God's alone. Jesus suggests that the words of God are as far apart from human words as heaven is from earth. While we are able to talk of heads and the black or white hair on top of them, our words do nothing to change that. While we are able to say the word heaven, it is God's throne and not ours to swear by. By letting our yes mean yes and our no mean no, we follow Jesus' teachings as responsible people who recognize our limits and place our intentions parallel to God's will, grounding them in his truth. God, with you at the center, I have no need of any other vow to support my intentions. There is only your will to be recognized and accomplished. Free from obstructive conditions, I am able to follow your Son. Free from sin and safe from all distress, I am able to participate fully in the sacraments of the Church. Committed to your will, give me the grace to live without fear of how things will turn out. Grant me the fortitude to say yes or no courageously, and desire to have you at my right hand. Mary said it first, let it be done to me according to your word. Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.